beautiful, dude. All right, so this move has gotten a lot better than the OG swing that we worked with a few years ago, but it's still getting steep coming down, okay? So you get into a good position in the backswing, but start moving everything this way early, in, early on in your transition. There's no, you get yourself into a position where there's no space through impact, right? In order to get a position, in, in order to get into an impact position where you're not just throwing angles, you have to create space to allow your arms and your body to functionally move through, okay? So you get up to the top, move this way. What we wanna feel, okay, is that we're moving backwards, okay? So the pressure's sitting backwards some, for you it would be moving into the heels. Another thing we noticed, if you look at good rotational players that really give themselves a lot of space, you'll notice that when they start their transition, the lead side of their pelvis lowers. Okay? Your lead side of your pelvis stays flat and then starts raising up really early. Okay? So the feel has to be that lead side lowering in transition. So it will be, from the top, a crunch in your transition. And then you start rotating around. And then you get that right shoulder pointing down to the golf ball. So come on up here. Let's work this feel. Okay? Slowly start coming down and crunch into my hand here. There you go. Good. 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 See how that gets everything around? Mm -hmm. Let's do it again. Crunch a little harder into my hand. No, no, no. Down. 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 Squeeze. There you go. Squeeze right in my hand. Boom. You and me both have yeah. little bellies, right? So when we go up, I always feel that that belly is squeezing okay. into my thigh, okay. right? If I put my hand there, it's squeezing it in. Okay. Let's try that feel again. Squeeze, there you go, and open. There, right there. Boom, beautiful, one more. See that rotation there? Yeah. See how everything opens? Yeah. So if there was a wall that we put on your butt, right? Yeah. You're breaking through that wall okay. with that move, okay. okay? That's the feel that you're trying to create if you're looking to give yourself the space to impact. So go ahead, give me one more rehearsal. Good, now let's grab a golf ball, okay? Here's how we're gonna really build this feel, okay? I want you to go in there with just a little three quarter, or 50% or speed swing, right? Go up top, freeze, feel that crunch, and then release up out of it. Pretty good, pretty good. Feel that when you're firing out of that, you're gonna get the right side to stay closer to the golf ball. Okay, that'll be a weird feel. Okay. This is going down, you're just going like that with that one, yeah, but don't you know? Have you wanna push okay. everything towards the target. Give me another one. Feel that extension up towards the target. Better. Cool. That's starting to turn. Yeah. I like that. Go up to the top of your back, so we're not gonna hit a ball here. I want you to lower that stick underneath this stick in transition. Keep turning, keep turning. Don't see how you're driving forward? Mm -hmm. Turn, rotate, okay. open. Go up, rotate, open. There we go. Let's do it again. Turn back, rotate low. There we go. Let's grab a golf ball and get that feel here. Just make it through swing. No. Good. Let's do it again. Really feel that lead side of the pelvis. Dig down into the ground. Create space. Get back. Beautiful, dude. That compression's getting better. It's coming off the face hotter. That's what I really want to see here. Just make sure everything is sitting back and turning, and then we can work through impact from there, okay? Get that lead side lower every time. When you set up, you get into a posture where you really get everything far away from your body. You really get tilted over, and you can tell your pressure's moving into your feet, right? Now, when you move out of there, you maintain that going back, okay? You let your arms completely break down going up to the top, and you finish like this in your backswing. See how your arms have completely broken down? You actually shallow the club pretty well out of here, right? But you start in your transition trying to find your balance point. So you're moving back, okay? We watch your posture move back this way. Now, when that's happening, you tell me that you struggle with contact issues, right? 
that's something you see a lot with people who struggle with contact issues, right? Pressure's moving away, arms are extending way out, players are too far away from the golf ball, not maintaining angles through impact, right? So that's, that's very common. First thing we're gonna do with you is try and get you in a position where when you set up to the golf ball, you're taller over it, okay? I want your arms in closer to your body. I like when a player sets up and their arms are just hanging down from the sockets, from the shoulders, right? I don't want them out reaching for a golf ball, okay? So we'll get you more over the golf ball, more taller, less pressure in the toes to start. After we get comfortable with that, then we're gonna start sequencing up your backswing movement's different, so your arm structure changes. And you can get into the get into the top of your backswing and move into transition without having everything break down. So come on in here real quick. Set up to that ball. Get closer than you'd feel comfortable. Okay? Now, watch this. There you go. Good. You might need to scoot back just a little bit. There you go. See how tall I got you? Yeah. Okay. Now, can you feel the pressure in the balls of your feet when you're doing that? Where does it feel like it is? I'm, I'm kind of evenly distributed. So that's the balls of your feet. When you feel it evenly distributed, it should be right in about here. Yeah, that's true. That's where it is? That's true, yeah. Okay. So that's where we want the pressure to be, okay? okay? Not getting into our toes. Okay, so grip that club for me. Now, get taller. Get, stay tall. There you go. Start turning the club back for me. Start coming back slowly. See how I'm turning you here? That's a good load right there. Now, the feel I want out of your arms is that you're gonna leave them pushed away from your body at the top of your backswing. Okay. Okay? Don't let everything collapse. So I want you, I don't care if this lead arm bends in, in theory, but for a player like you who just collapses everything, I want you to feel like you're gonna keep that lead arm as straight as possible. Okay. The whole hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I come out with new content every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thanks a lot, guys.